konnichiwa, Jamu guests, and welcome to Hikari Online Class. For today's lesson, ay pag-aaralan natin ang lesson 4 ng ating grammar discussion. Are you ready? Dawa hajime masyo. Okay, so in this lesson, you will gonna learn how to tell time, okay? To express time, there are different counter suffix like G, which is o'clock, and fun are minutes, okay? And ima means now. You can see here, this is our clock. Well, may mga oras siya, pero in Japanese. So, let's start from o'clock, okay? So, o'clock in Japanese is written as this in kanji and read as G. Okay? Again, o'clock is G. Okay? So, how about one o'clock? So, as you know, one is ichi, you just add G. So, that would be one o'clock. In Japanese, it is ichi G. Ichi G. Okay? Next is two o'clock is ni ji. Ni ji. Okay, next three o'clock is sang ji. Sang ji. Four o'clock is yo ji. Yo ji. So as you can see, four is yong. But in time, N is not included. Okay, so only yo plus G. Let me for a special in time. So that is yo G. Okay, next five o'clock is go G. Go G. And six is rock G. Rock G. And seven is shichiji. Shichiji. Okay. Eight is hachiji. Hachiji. Nine is kuji. Kuji. Okay. Ten is juji. Juji. Okay. 11 o'clock is ju ichiji. Ju ichiji. And 12 o'clock is ju ni ji. Ju ni ji. Okay, so again, let's review from 1 o'clock to 12 o'clock. Ichiji. Ni ji. San ji. Yo ji. Goji, Rokoji, Shichiji, Hachiji, Kuji, Juji, Ju Ichiji, Ju Nichi. Okay, so remember 4, 7, and 9 o'clock is special. So as you, as you can remember, 4 is young, but in time, is not yong but only yo. Okay? Yoji. Same as seven. Seven is special because generally nana is used for seven, but in time, the other way of saying seven is sichi. So sichi is only used in time. Okay? So you can't use nana ji. Okay? It's wrong. So only shichi ji. The same as nine o'clock. So it is not q. But ku. Okay? So again, remember the special. Yo ji. Hichi ji. And ku ji. So now, let's proceed to the AM and PM. Okay? So AM and PM in Japanese is written in this in kanji. So this is read as go zen go go. So AM is go zen, go go is PM. Okay, again, AM is go zen, PM is go go. Okay, so let's try an example here. Here's the question. What time is it now? 
in Japanese. Ima nanji desu ka? Ima nanji desu ka? It's 8 a.m. It's 8 a.m. In Japanese, it is Gozen hachiji desu. Gozen hachiji desu. Okay? So, as you noticed, in English, we are 8 a.m. Okay? So, a.m. is put after the time. But, in Japanese, Gozen is put before the time. Okay? Gozen is put before the time. So that's why it is Gozen Hachiji des. Okay? Okay, it's the same with Gogo. Okay, so if it's 8 p.m., so it is Gogo Hachiji des. Okay? Wakarimasu Okay, so I hope you understand it. Next is the quiz time, okay? So here's the question. Ima nanji desu ka? Ima nanji desu ka? A. Hichiji desu. B. Hichiji desu. C. Yonji desu. Or D. Yoji this And the correct answer is letter D. Okay, I hope you got it right, Minasan. Okay, now next, here's the question. Okay, Ima nanji desu ka? Ima nanji desu ka? A. Kyoji. B. Kyuji. C. Kuji or D. Rokuji. Okay, and the correct answer is letter C. Okay, it's Kuji. Ima Kuji desu. Okay, so I hope you got it right. Okay, next is how to read or how to say minutes in Japanese. Okay, so minutes is quite confusing because it also has special. Okay, so minutes in Japanese, it is read as fun or pun. Okay, fun or pun. Okay, so there is two ways to say it. Because, okay, let's start from one minute. It is ip pun. Ip pun. Okay, as you can see, one is ichi, but chi is changed to chi sai tsu and add pun. Okay, so that is ip pun. Okay, next two is ni fun. Ni fun. Okay, next three minutes is sang pun. Sang Next is four is yong kun. Yong kun. Okay, five is go fun. Go fun. Okay, six is rup pun. Rup pun. Okay, seven is shichi. Fun or nana fun. Okay, again, shichi fun or nana fun. Okay, as you can see, shichi or nana is okay. Okay, whether of the two is okay in minutes. Okay, just only in minutes. Okay, next eight is hapun. Hapun. So as you can see, chi. Is changed to chi sai tzu and add pun in eight minutes. Next nine minutes is q fun q fun. And last is ten minutes is jup pun or jip pun. 
Okay, but generally, jupun is used. Okay, but there are times that maybe um, native speaker use jupun. Okay, but generally, it is jupun. Okay, so again, let's review from 1 minute to 10 minutes. Okay, ipun. Ipun. Ni fun. Ni fun. Sang pun. Sang pun. Yong pun. Yong pun. Go fun. Go fun. Rup pun. Rup pun. Shit chi fun. Nana fun. Nana fun. Hap pun. Hap pun. Q fun. Q fun. Jip pun. Jip pun. Or jip pun. Okay, so that is how we gonna say that in minutes. So additional, this is, okay, is 15 and 30. So 15 is jip go fun. Okay, since five is the last, so you just say it ju go fu. Okay, and for 30 minutes, you can use sang ju pun is okay, sang ji pun is okay, and hang also is okay. So there are three ways to say 30 minutes sang ju pun, sang ji pun, or hang. Hang means half. Okay? So that's why you can say uh, hang also. Okay, so that is a reminder. And let's start another example here. Okay, so example is how about 11? So 11 minutes is read as ju ipun. Okay, ju ipun. So as you can see, only the last part was changed, okay? For example, 11 is actually ju iti, right? So, we only changed the iti part, which is becomes ipun. So, that's why 11 minutes is read as ju ipun. Okay, so how about 12? It's the same, it's ju ni fun. Ju ni fun. Okay, how about 13? Sa, ju, sang, pun. Ju, sang, pun. Okay, 14. Ju, yong, pun. Ju, yong, pun. 15. Ju, go, pun. Ju, go, pun. 16. Ju, rup, pun. Ju, rup, pun. 17. Ju shichi fun or ju nana fun. Okay? Ju shichi fun or ju nana fun. Next, 18 is ju hap fun. Ju hap fun. And 19 minutes is ju q fun. Ju q fun. So again, 11 to 19 minutes is read as ju ip pun, ju nip pun, ju sang pun, ju yong pun, ju go pun, ju rup pun, ju shit chi pun, ju nana pun, ju hap pun, or ju q fu. Okay? Only the last part were changed. Next, another example is our 21 minutes. So 21 minutes is ni ju ipun. Ni ju ipun. Okay, so how about 32? So 32 is sang ju ni fun. Sang ju ni fun. Okay, 43 minutes is 
Yongju Sangpun. Yongju Sangpun. And 54 is Goju Yongpun. Goju Yongpun. Next, 65 is Rokuju Gofun. Rokuju Gofun. 76 is Nanaju Rokun. Nanaju Rokun. Okay, 87 is Hachiju Shitshifun or Hachiju Nanafun. Okay, Hachiju Shitshifun or Hachiju Nanafun. Okay, next, 98 is Kyuju Hapun. Kyuju Hapun. And 99 minutes is Kyuju Kyufun. Kyuju Kyufun. Okay, so you will just um, change the last part of what number it is. And you just add Fun. And if it's special, you change Chisai to and make it good okay so the same process as well as 91 to 99 minutes okay so now let's proceed to quiz start okay so here's the question ima nanji desu ka ima nanji desu ka a a Yongji Gofun B Yongji Gofun C Yoji Gofun or D Yoji Gofun Okay and the correct answer is letter D Okay so this is a four o'clock and five minutes so that the four o'clock is yoji five minutes is go food okay okay next up is the interrogatives of this so the interrogative none is used with the counter suffix to ask questions concerning numbers or amounts Therefore, the word nanji or sometimes nanpun is used to ask the time. Okay, so ginagamit si nanji for what time or sometimes nanpun if you are specific about minutes. Okay, so here's our other examples. So, this is the examples of using different times in Japanese. Okay, let's start from what time. Okay, in Japanese it is nanji. Okay, next is what minute is nanfun? Okay, nanfun. Next, what month is nangatsu? Nangatsu. What day is nanmichi? Nanmichi. And if you are asking about how many hours? That would be nanjikan. Nanjikan. For how many weeks is nanshukan. Nanshukan. And for how many months is nankagetsu. Nankagetsu. How many person is nanmin. Nanmin. What number is nanbang? Nanbang. Next, how many animals are nanbiki? Nanbiki. How many vehicles is nandai? Nandai. How old is nansai? Nansai. Nankai is how many times? How many times? And what floor is Nangai? Nangai. Okay, so that is the examples of dip, different interrogative that using nans with the counter suffixes. 
Next up is, what marks the topic of a sentence which you learned in lesson one? But here, a ge geographical location can also be used as a topic as can seen below. For example, New York wa ima nanji desu ka? New York wa ima nanji desu ka? Gozen yoji desu. Gozen yoji desu. Oh, remember that nanji is answered by gozen yoji. Okay? Next is the verb must. Okay, so this is there are different conjugation of our verb in Japanese. First is, the very basic one is the verb must form. Okay, verb must form. A verb with must works as a predicate. Okay, make, must makes a sentence polite. Must makes a sentence polite. For example, I study every day. That would be I would be watashi. Every day would be my nichi. And study is benkyo shimas. Okay? So that makes the sentence as watashi wa my nichi benkyo shimas. Okay, again. Watashi wa my nichi benkyo shimas. Okay, as you can see, there is no des to work in here, but instead of having des, since we have a verb, so we make the verb as a must form to make it the sentence polite. Okay? So, the level that you will gonna use the noun one, noun two, des. Okay? But this time, since it's a verb, hindi na ginagamit si des, but just make the sentence or the verb as a mass form. Okay? So, here's are the different conjugation of verb in Japanese. Okay? So, mass is used when a sentence expresses a habitual thing or truth. It is also used when a sentence expresses a thing that will occur in the future. So here are the verb tenses. This is the present future in positive. So verb must. Okay, for example, our verb here is uki must. Okay, again, our verb here uki must. To make it negative present future tense, you make it you change su to said that would make the sentence or the word as okimasen okimasen okay so naging negative na si verb and to make it a past a positive pag ginawa naman natin siyang past gagawin mo lang siyang mashta okay si mas gagawin mong mashta that makes the word as okimashta okimashta Okay, and then if you make it into past negative form, gagawin mo lang siyang first negative, alagin mo siyang masen, then you just add deshta. So that makes the word okimasen deshta. Okay, so that makes the sentence as a past negative form. Another example here is the verb yasumi. That means yasumimas. Yasumimasu. Make it negative, you make it. Yasumimasen. Yasumimasen. And to make it past, positive, you make it. Yasumimashita. Yasumimashita. And for the negative past, you just say it. Yasumimasen deshita. Yasumimasen deshita. Okay? So now let's review. If the verb in a present form, it is in a verb mas. Okay? But if it present a negative a future form, this is a verb masen. And if the verb in a past a positive, you make it verb mashta. And to make the verb as past negative, you make it verb masen deshta. 
Okay? So I hope it's clear now. So here's our another example. Okay? Konban benkyo shimas. Konban benkyo shimas. Mag-aaral ako ngayong gabi. So since this is a future tense, ngayon gabi mo lang ngayong gabi mo pa lang siya gagawin. That's why it's in a mass form. Okay? Another example, if you make it a negative, hindi ka mag-aaral ngayong gabi. Konbang benkyo shimasen. Konbang benkyo shimasen. Okay? So, gagawin mo lang si shimas as shimasen. Okay? Next, another example, sasabihin mo naman na nag-aral ka kahapon. Okay? Yesterday is kino. And benki study. So, benkyo shimashita. So, that's why you said, Kino benkyo shimashita. Kino benkyo shimashita. Okay? Sasabihin mo naman na hindi ka nakatulog na hindi ka nakatulog kahapon. Okay? So, that may may kahapon is yesterday. So, kino. And negative fast, ni must sleep. So, hindi mo nagawa si sleep. That would make past negative. So, you will say, ni masen deshita. Okay? So, sasabihin mo, kino ni masen deshita. Kino ni masen deshita. Okay? Question forms of verb sentences are made in the same way as those of noun in the sentence. So, yung mga questions na ginagamitan si verb ay katulad lang din na kung paano natin ginagawa yung sentences as noun. But the word remains the same and ka is just added to the end of the sentence. Pareho lang po siya, just that, that anyone wa verb must ka. Okay? So, ginagawa lang po natin si noun to as verb this time. So, in answering such question, the verbs in the questions are repeated. Okay? So, this or so cha remasen cannot be used. So, since so since it is answerable by yes or no, so kailangan mong i-repeat yung verb na tinatanong or tinutukoy niya. It's like this example. Okay, let's read it first. Kino benkyo shimashita ka? Kino benkyo shimashita ka? And you will gonna say if yes. Hi, thank you, Shimasta. And if no, you will gonna say, Ye, thank you, Shimasen, Deshta. Okay, again, let's start. Kino, thank you, Shimasta ka. Hi, thank you, Shimasta. Or, Ye, thank you, Shimasen, Deshta. Okay, now let's have a role play. First, I will be A and you will be B. Kino, benkyo shimashita ka? Or? Okay, good job for that. Now this time, let's switch role. You will be the one to ask. Go! Okay, good job. Another example for it is, okay, let's practice this one. Let's read it first. Ashita hatarakimasu ka? Hai, hatarakimasu. Ie, hatarakimasen. Okay, let's read it again. Ashita hatarakimasu ka? Hai, hatarakimasu. Ie, hatarakimasen. Okay, now let's do the role play. I will be A and you will be B. Ashita, hatarakimasu ka? Okay, now let's switch role. Go! Hai, hatarakimasu. Ie, hatarakimasen. Okay, good job for that. Okay, next up is the non-time me verb. Okay, so this time our noun is about time or 
denotes time. So, when a verb denotes a momentary action and a verb, the time when it occurs is marked with the particle ni. Okay? So, kung yung verb natin is nagde-denote siya ng mga action or movement, so, kung kailan nangyari or kung anong oras nangyari, lalagyan natin siya ng particle ni. Okay? So, ni is added when the noun before it uses a numerical. Okay? So, si ni ay ginagamit pag gumagamit yung noun mo ng mga numbers like oras or minutes or seconds. Okay? Next, it can also be added to the days of the week though it is not essential. So, pwede din siyang gamitin sa mga days of the week like Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays but it is not essential. So, pwede siyang meron, pwede siyang wala. And, when the noun does not use a numerical, ni is not needed. Pero kung hindi naman gumagamit ng mga numbers, pwede nang gigamitin si ni. Okay? So, hindi na kailangan lagyan si, si noun ng particle ni. Okay? For example, let's practice. Okay, for example, let's practice this conversation here. Okay, so let's read it first. My asa nanjini okimaska. My asa nanjini okimaska. My asa rokojini okimas. My asa rokojini okimas. Okay, as you can see, my asa means every morning. Okay, every morning. Then, nanji ni what time? Okay, nanji is what time? Okay, mas is wake up. So, what time do you wake up every morning? Okay, so anong oras ka gumigising tuwing umaga? So, anong oras? Okay, so you will answer... May asa roko jini okimas. So since gumamit tayo ng number here, gagamit lalagyan natin siya na particle ni. Okay? May asa roko jini okimas. Okay? Now so now let's practice a role play for this conversation. I will be A and you will be B. May asa nan jini okimas ka? Hey, how about let's reach wrong? You will be the one asking and I will be the one answering. Three, two, one, go. My asa rokojini okimas. Okay, good job for that. So as you can see, nanji is just placed with rokoji. Another example for how we will use this, okay? So, let's practice. Nanyobi ni, okay? Nanyobi ni, aha, taragimasu ka? Or, ni is omitable this time because this is just days of the week. So, you can say, you can ask, Nanyobi, aha, taragimasu ka? So, you will answer, Gitsiyobi ni, aha, taragimasu. Or, Gitsiyobi, aha, taragimasu. Okay, so, ni, is okay to put and it's okay if not. Okay? So, it's not so essential to put when it, it comes to the day. Next is, let's practice another example. Okay. A. Itsu. Hatarakimasu ka? Itsu is when. Okay? Hatarakimasu ka? Itsu. Hatarakimasu ka? Kailan ka magtratrabaho? You answered, Ashita. Hatarakimasu. Ashta, hatarakimas. So, ni is not needed here. Hindi mo na pwede, ah, hindi mo na ka lang, ashta ni hatarakimas. Okay? Since ashta is not having a numerical number. Okay? And it's also not days of the week. So, ashta is bukas. Okay? As adverb of time, hindi naman siya nag a numerical expression. So, you don't need to put ni this one. Okay, so let's practice having a role play. I will be A and you will be B. Itsu 
働けますか Okay, now let's switch r o w Go! 明日働けます。Okay, so good job for that. And again, it is when? 明日 is tomorrow. So tomorrow is a d v e r b of time. Hindi siya nangangaroon ng isang kong oras for this one. So you don't need me. Okay, next one is N1 kara N2 made. This. Okay? So, kara indicates the starting time or place and made indicates the finishing time or place. Okay? Again, kara indicates the starting time or place and made indicates the finishing time or place. Since that, kara means from and made means to. So, from and to. Okay, so example. Okay. Nanji kara, nanji made, hatarakimasu ka? Again, nanji kara, nanji made, hatarakimasu ka? So that would mean, so nanji kara, nanji made, hatarakimasu ka? Oras ka nagsimula, oras ka na tapos sa pagtatabaho. Goji kara, goji made, hatarakimasu. Okay? So, from, I work from 9 to 5 o'clock. Okay, ganun lang yun. So, let's practice having the conversation here. Just remember, nanji, nanji. So, you just gonna put that on. Let's practice having a role play here, okay? So, I will be first A, you will be B. Nanji kara, nanji made, hatarakemasu ka? Okay, or let's switch row, go. Kuji kara, guji made, hatarakemasu. Okay, so good job for that. So just remember the nanji here. So you put the time before kara, okay? Nine kuji kara, then goji made atarakimas, okay? So just like another example here, Osaka kara Tokyo made sangjikan kakarimas. Osaka kara Tokyo made sangjikan kakarimas. So that means Kakarimas takes, okay? It takes three hours. Okay? It takes three hours from Osaka to Tokyo. So in Japanese, that would be Osaka kara Tokyo made sang chikan kakarimas. Okay, again. Osaka kara Tokyo made sang jikan kakarimas. Okay, next. Okay, kara and made are not always used together. So, hindi naman siya always ginagamit na magkasama talaga sila. Pwede kara lang or made lang. Okay, for example here. Koji kara hatarakimas. Okay, kuji kara Hatarakimas, okay? So I work from nine o'clock. Pwede mo lang sabihin. So you just use kara, okay? Kuji kara, hatarakimas, okay? Or you can also use this with des, okay? Kara or made des, okay? So added directly after either. Or you can just use kara or made. Okay, like example, in Kowa, Kuji kara Sangji made des. Okay, in Kowa, Kuji kara Sangji made des. Okay, Ginko is bank. Okay, the bank is open from nine to three o'clock. Okay, ba? So that is how you gonna use kara and made.
you can use Kara alone or Madya alone. It's up to you. And you can use both in the same sentence pattern. Just remember that Kara means from and Madya means to. Okay? Our next sentence pattern is noun 1 to noun 2. So, the particle to connects two nouns together in coordinate relation. So, pinagdududu niya ang dalawang noun. So, that would be in English, this is means end. In Tagalog, ito ay at. Okay? For example, sasabihin mo, yung, yes, yung day off ng isang bangko is Saturday at Sunday. Okay? Sasabihin mo, the bank's day off or rest days is Saturday and Sunday. So, in Japanese, it is Ginko no yasumi wa doyobi to nichiyobi desu. Okay? Ginko no yasumi wa doyobi to nichiyobi desu. Ginko no yasumi is your subject or your topic. That's why there is a particle uh, wa. So, ginko no yasumi, day off ng bangko. Doyobi to nichiyobi desu. So, Saturday and Sunday. Sabado at linggo. Okay, so just use the simply function of to. At or and in English. Okay? Next is sentence ne. Okay, sentence ne. Ne is not a particle but an expression. So ne is attached to the end of the sentence to add feeling to what the speaker says. It shows the speaker's sympathy or the speaker's expectation that the listener will agree. In the latter usage, it is often to confirm something. Okay? So, ginagamit si ne sa last part ni sentence to show sympathy or expression that the listener will agree with that sentence. Sometimes it is used to confirm something. Okay, for example, it is to show someone's a sympathy using the sentence ne. Okay, here. My nichi goji goro made benkyo shimas. Okay, my nichi arau arau goji goro made hanggang mga 10 o'clock, ako nag-aaral. Benkyo shimas. Okay, so nabi sa araw-araw hanggang mga bandang 10 o'clock, ako nag-aaral. Tapos sasabihin ng friend mo, taihen des ne. Ang hirap naman nun. Parang gano'n. Okay? Taihen des ne. Okay? So, that is how we use sympathy in using the ne. Confer oh. Next example, it shows the confirmation using the sentence ne. Okay, for example, hihingin mo ang number ni Yamada sang na friend mo. Yamada sang no, then mo bang gua? Hachi nana ichi no, roku hachi ichi sang des. Okay? Hachi nana ichi no roku hachi ichi sang desu ne. Wakaremashita. So as you can see, as you can see, binabasa yung number isa-isa. 871-6813. So just the same with the English, gagamitin or babasahin mo yung number in isa-isa in Japanese. So that's why I read this as Hachi nana ichi no Raku hachi ichi sang des. And to confirm that one, di ba, babalikan natin. Okay. Sabi niya, hachi nana ichi no raku hachi ichi sang des ne. Wakarimashita. Okay. So sabi niya, 8716813, di ba? Wakarimashita. Okay. Parang ganun. Okay, I understand. So, ganun lang gagamitin si sentence ne. Sometimes in sympathy, but most of the time it is for confirmation. And so, and that's the end for our lesson 2. 
So I hope you learned something for today and see you again next time in a song. Goodbye!